Order of Souls is a bit of a strange trading company to level up. At face value, there isn't much you can do to speed up the leveling process. However, I am here today to tell you that it's completely wrong. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get to max rank in as little time and effort as possible. So strap in and let's get into it. Before we get into the video, I'm currently live over on Twitch, so if you like the video, make sure to not only like and subscribe, but also come into the stream and say hi. And if you need any more help in getting to max rank for any of the other trading companies, you'll find more guides on my channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to get yourself to Order of Souls level 75 within a super short period of time, and I will show you how this all works out later on in the video. For this strategy, you can do this with any amount of people, including solo. First things first, you're going to want to start hopping servers. You need to spawn an ancient Aspire outpost. Once you've spawned in, quickly start the rogue storyteller tool tower on the front of the bar. This will decrease island skeleton's health to just two hits, making your life so much easier. After that, start stocking up your boat with some supplies and raise the Order of Souls emissary. This is found in the Order of Souls tent. Finally, head on over to your ship and sail straight east over tomorrow's peak. Once you're at the outpost, go and grab three Ashen Skeleton Voyages. If you have multiple people, get them to all grab Max Voyages too. Take these Voyages to your boat and cycle through them. What you're looking for is islands close to the outpost or where you are in the Devil's Rule. These need to have at least three skeletons on. If you find Voyages which are far away from the outpost with four or three skeletons on, I personally will only do these if I have another island close. Uh, to that one with three or four skeleton captains on also. If you or none of your crew can't find voyages with this amount of skeletons on, get one of you to leave the game and join back. This will refresh your voyages and you'll be able to buy more. If you are playing solo, Alt F4 out of the game and immediately launch the game back up. This will allow you to rejoin your previous session but also refresh your voyages. Once you've got a good voyage, get sailing to the islands you need to go to. Uh, make sure you're methodical about which islands you go to first, and if you're ever sailing past Morrow's Peak, make sure you shoot out and grab more voyages along the way. Once you're at the island, take some fire bombs on with you and carry a blunderbuss. One quick tip, try to use any of the geysers around to kill skeletons. These can be used on gold skeletons and the captains to make things a lot quicker. And if the island is not spawning any geysers, use fire bombs on the gold skeletons, if there are any, just to dispose of them quickly. One other thing, make sure to look out for treasure chests along the way, as this will make things so much easier for yourself when trying to carry around multiple skulls. Don't complete the full voyage, make sure you only complete the islands that are worth visiting. So if you have two islands with three skeletons next to each other, and then one island a mile away with the one skeleton on, don't complete the island with one skeleton. Just cancel the voyage and start cycling the process again. This should gain you a lot of reputation in the quickest way possible. With all of that, you should be well on your way to max level under the Order of Souls trading company. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, check out my other videos on the channel, and I will see you guys in the next one.